Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So we all probably know what artificial intelligence is by now. I feel like it's like taking over the world. It says on Google, artificial intelligence is the simulation of human intelligence processes by machines, especially computer systems. Specific applications of AI include expert systems, natural language processing, speech recognition, and machine vision. Oh my God. There's Snapchat AI, AI that's taking over Photoshop, and there's also ChatGBT, and ChatGBT is going to tell me what I need to do today. I just so happen to be in the lovely, beautiful city of Dubai. God, check out that view. And there's just like so much to do here, but I have never been here before, and I only have one day here in Dubai, and so I don't know what to do, but I feel like AI would know what to do. Today, AI is gonna control my life in Dubai. Okay, so I just downloaded ChatGBT, it's like an app. Hello, how can I assist you today? I'm in Dubai, what should I do today. So I think she gathers information from like a bunch of different sources on like the internet and just videos and sounds and I, don't, I honestly I don't even know how ChatGPT works and I just love the fact that I'm just gonna trust it. If I had to choose just one thing to do in Dubai, I would recommend visiting the Burj Khalifa. It's an iconic landmark and the tallest building in the world. Dude, she's like selling me on the Burj Khalifa. I'm, I'm down. Okay, you know what? Chatty Cathy, don't lie. Let's go. This is the tallest building in the world? Much smaller than I anticipated. <laughs> Here we go. You guys, I am literally so high right now. <laughs> Get it? Because. No, for real though, this is like really high up. I'm actually getting a little bit of weak knees. <laughs> this isn't even the tallest part of the Burj Khalifa because it was too expensive, but it's freaking crazy. This view, you can see all of Dubai and then some. <laughs> she's gorgeous. Okay, so for the first thing that AI has told us to do, I, I'm pretty impressed. Let's see if she can keep up with the good recommendations. So let's go back to ChatGBT. Oh my God, I'm dying in this heat. I don't know how everyone's just like so calm. I'm at the Burj Khalifa. What? should I do next? Maybe something indoors, because I'm sweating my arse off. <laughs> if you're looking for something indoors, you can visit the Dubai Mall, which is located right next to the Burj Khalifa. Okay, so it sounds like we're going to the mall. It sounds like it's right next to us, and it's also probably much cooler than this. Okay, I actually have sweat dripping down my lip. This is disgusting. What do we do at the Dubai Mall? I need, I need decisions. If you're looking for a cold activity to escape the heat in Dubai, you can consider visiting Sky Dubai, an indoor ski resort. Oh. <laughs> First of all, I'm so embarrassed. Ski Dubai is what I meant to say. An indoor ski resort located inside the Mall of the Emirates, Ski Dubai offers a range of winter activities including skiing, snowboarding, even interacting with penguins in a snowy environment. Are you actually joking? Is this a real thing? I don't even need to finish this. Let's, let's go. Funny, it's like winter in here. They have everything like winter or snow themed in here, and it's a hundred degrees outside. I'm loving this. They got little penguin stuffed animals, a cute little lodge cafe. I feel really dumb because the guy at the front when I was buying my ticket was like, oh yeah, it's negative five degrees in there, and I was like, holy crap, I'm gonna freeze to death. I've never been in such cold. It's he means Celsius, not Fahrenheit, Celsius. Okay, so I've got all my snow and winter attire. I've got my snowboard, my boots, my pants, my jacket, and it's time to get changed out of my daytime desert fit into a winter wonderland fit. Oh my god, I already feel it getting a little colder. This is exciting! We're here. Oh my god, this snow is like, it looks so different. It kind of looks like sand. You can see my breath. When I asked AI to, to bring me somewhere cold, she definitely didn't disappoint. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go on the chairlift and I'm gonna I'm gonna snowboard inside. This is so weird. This is crazy. Skiing in the desert. Skiing in the desert. Never thought I'd say that. Here we go. I don't know if it's the snow or if it's just the board isn't waxed, but it's really hard to like get some momentum. But oh man, oh my god, these guys are mobbing. Okay, we made it to the top. There's only one way to go now, and that would be down. Oh. Shoot! Oh shoot! Oh my god, this is crazy! <laughs> Guys, how cool do I look? Be honest. Be honest! Dude, this is crazy! Bye! Oh my gosh. 
That was insane. And the fact that it's in a mall is just like even crazier to me. The day must go on. We've still got a lot of stuff that we gotta do. Um, dessert? I'm just gonna say that. Dessert? <laughs> Choosing a dessert spot but depends on your personal preferences. However, if you're looking for a specific recommendation, I suggest trying Magnolia Bakery. Okay, Magnolia Bakery it is. Chat GBT got something wrong. She said that there was a Magnolia Bakery in this mall and there's not. And I asked the customer service and they said, nope, we don't got one of those, but we do have Hummingbird. I guess I'm gonna try Hummingbird? I don't even know what that is. There's cupcakes, there's brownies, and there's cookies. Hi, are you Pearson? Yeah! I watch your YouTube channel. Really? You wanna be on it right now? Yeah. Yeah? What's your name? My name's Tia. Tia? Did you have some cupcakes or anything? I had an Oreo cupcake. And how was it? Okay. Really? Should I get it? Yeah? <laughs> She's a star. You're a star. <laughs> okay, Oreo cupcake it is. Cheers. Bro. Tia was right. Okay, so we've done a lot of like touristy stuff. I think the next thing that I want to do is maybe something like cultural something cultural to do in Abu Dhabi I literally can't even try and pronounce this Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque one of the world's largest mosques admire the architectural marvel intricate details and serene atmosphere of this magnificent place of worship that sounds right up our alley and hopefully we can learn a little bit about it as well I think this is gonna be cool I've always wanted to go to a mosque and especially while I'm here in the UAE this is I feel like the place to be so I'm gonna casually get another cupcake and we'll be on our merry way. Oh my gosh, we're right outside the mosque and I am like almost in tears. This is so beautiful. I feel like the camera doesn't even do it justice, but this is like so insane. We came here just at the, like the perfect time of like sunset. Oh my gosh. What? a way to end the trip. I literally, I fly back to America tonight and this was the last thing that I was gonna do before flying back and this is sending me off on such a good note. The humidity's getting to it. Okay, well I guess I should probably head back home. I've got like a 17 hour flight ahead of me and it's not getting any clearer. Okay, <laughs> love you guys so much. Bye. <laughs> She's ready for the slopes. Let's go hit the slopes, brothers. Now if you'll excuse me, I've got some very serious business adventures to take care of.